above, Manningtree, Missley and Lawford appear as one. And here on the ground it's not much different. Most local people would find it hard to tell you where one parish ends and the other begins. Take Oxford Road. On this side, I'm in Missley. If I cross, I'm in Manningtree. The years 1645 to 1647 provided perhaps the darkest moments in our local history. The three parishes were the birthplace of the infamous Essex witch hunts. After initial interrogation by Hopkins, those unfortunate women were brought here to be held in the cells at Colchester Castle. So yeah, they were accused in Manningtree because Matthew Hopkins, who was leading these accusations, lived there. But actually these women came from a wider area across North East Essex. Now what then happened is they were brought here to Colchester Castle to be kept in the prison cell. But gone are the days of the butcher, the baker and even the candlestick maker. And while there are still some nice shops here, those with long memories will tell you the high street is much changed from their younger years. There wasn't a thing you couldn't get in Manningtree. You didn't have to go to Tailwind. And I mean, if you went the other way up the street, there was uh, a hairdresser's um, and also the shoe shop and Daddy Orson's. And, you know, so there was a, many more shops. And then, of course, up South Hill too. Ready for scene two? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Do you want a little warm up? Oh. <coughs> we got together in a crowd and talked about it all. And somebody said, let's have a meeting then. All of us who are interested in starting a, a theatre in Manictory. So we called a meeting at the Red Lion. I think there were 16 of us. <laughs> Adam came up with the idea of a tower at each end, and it's those towers which have become an enduring landmark, outlasting the church nave which was demolished in 1870. Thames barges were probably the lifeblood of this port from the middle of the 19th century until maybe the middle of the 20th century. The maltings built by Brooks and earlier free, uh, later Free Rodwell, based on the original ones by Rigby, really relied on Thames barges to keep them going. With most of the industry gone, Missley is no longer the bustling village it once was. It's a much quieter place, except down by the river on warm summer days. The Walls has become a magnet to tourists, with visitors eager to enjoy both the view and the wildlife. I'm off to St Mary's Church in Lawford, the church on the hill. Set back from the main village, it has amazing views across the Stour Estuary and a very interesting history. I've got such great memories of this church because it's got to be, I think, the last episode of the last series of Heidi High because Gladys, you know, Ruth's character, she was finally getting married. She got her man. She actually got, oh, Clay. <laughs> It's the second Saturday in July, the weather is good and around 20,000 people have made their way here to Lawford House Park for this year's tendering show. As they did on June the 3rd, 2022 for the Platinum Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. 